everybody has a responsibility, um, the right and responsibility to make sense of things. In other words, it's got to make sense to you. And if something doesn't make sense to you, you should bring it up. You shouldn't talk behind somebody's back or, or, or gossip. And you know, too, too many people talk about the um, other people, what they're doing wrong, except they don't talk to those people about what they're doing wrong. So they don't know whether they're actually doing them wrong or not. They haven't heard the other side, and they're not being productive. I, I, so that's terrible. And also, the organizations for me that in which arbitrary decisions are made are terrible. Um, you know, a boss, two bosses will get together and have a conversation of what a particular person is like, and and then they'll call the person into the room, and then they'll say, "Ah, oh, Harry," and then they'll give him spin. Spin is terrible. It, it undermines trust, and and, and so we have a policy of um, uh, taping everything and letting everybody watch it and look at it, and then having thoughtful conversations about that. And um, there's, uh, if you're coming into the company, it, you're, you go there because you believe that uh, understanding what is true and that ra radical transparency to understand what's true and have thoughtful conversation about it, including harsh realities, is healthy. And so it's the embracing of reality. What is the reality, including what mistakes and and what weaknesses, so that I can learn from those mistakes or learn how to deal with those weaknesses in order to be successful. So yes, that's Im embedded. That's that's those are the ground rules. Um, you know, the ground rules. That's how to have an idea meritocracy. In other words, if you want to have a real idea meritocracy, that's not doesn't, doesn't have any barriers to it. We'll go wherever truth leads us. Um, that's what we what's what we do, and that's very powerful. That's that's where the success comes from. We've had radical success, um, and that's where it's come from, because it also allows independent thinking. Right? I need independent thinking because if you're going to make a position in the markets, it has to be. Uh, it can't be with the consensus, and you don't know if you're going to be right or wrong. So you have to test it. It's very powerful. And it's also it's so silly not to do that because of these ego barriers. Why wouldn't you have those conversations? It's not logical not to. Unfortunately, we have uh, most people in there have not been raised with the notion that knowing what your weaknesses are is pleasurable. Also, the issue of... Um, uh, pain is associated with bad and pleasure is associated with good and that's not true that most uh, all growth you can't get stronger physically or mentally unless you're having pain because you're stretching yourself you're going into a, a new level so pain is good if you're exercising right let, let Go exercise at the gym. It starts off painful, but as you start to get going with it and you start to see the benefits of it and you start to change your actually your brain physiology in terms of what actually determines whether it's painful or not, it becomes pleasurable. So a behavior modification usually takes place over about 18 months of doing something. And so you start to get into an environment where it's pleasurable. And in our case, uh, we call it getting to the other side. People come in and they're originally, they look at this and they say, oh, I made a mistake, I feel pain about that. Or I'm identifying some weakness and I feel pain about that. And then after doing it enough and seeing the feedback, then they begin to realize that it's producing benefits to them and they begin to like it and they begin to worry about being in an environment that they won't have that. That if they go into a normal environment, they're going to have dishonesty. They're going to have people seeing the same things, thinking the same things about them, but not telling them. They won't have an opportunity to have a discussion. They won't know whether it's truthful or not that they're operating. So it'll all be under the covers. And so they're fearful that they won't actually know either what their mistakes are or that people will be making judgments without being able to have a quality conversation. So that's the choice. 
Which environment would you rather be in? You, you have to decide for yourself. Um, which environment would you rather be in? That people are, that you know that there's going to be conversations about what people think about you and an honest exploration of whether that's true or not? You can avoid all that 